Hi everyone, welcome back to the Edgewater Avenue YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be making the brand new Isabel One Piece. For materials you will need, swimwear fabric. About a yard will be good, but for some sizes you'll be safest with a yard and a quarter. Swimwear elastic. Here I'm using quarter inch braided elastic. I just have a bunch that I'm trying to go through, but really you're gonna want a rubber swimwear elastic and I will have that linked. You're gonna need a cutting tool. Here I'm using my rotary cutter. And you will need a loop turner to be able to turn some straps to the right side. If you don't have this exact loop turner, you can use a safety pin and there's even a little serger trick that you can look up on YouTube of how to flip straps with a serger. For this tutorial, you do need a machine that's capable of a straight stitch. So I'm gonna be using both my serger as well as my regular sewing machine. And of course, the last thing you need is the PDF pattern for the Isabel One Piece, which is available now at edgewaterapp.com. So starting off with cutting, I'm first gonna use this brown fabric and I'm gonna cut one in my back piece, one in my front bottom, and one in each bust piece. Once that's finished, I'm moving on to this animal print fabric, and I'm gonna again cut one in each pattern piece. So in total, you'll want two in each of your pattern pieces. Also, in whichever fabric you choose, you're going to need to cut two straps, which will be used for the ties, and the exact measurements for these straps is included inside the pattern. So now let's put this thing together. The first thing that we want to do is make a complete front piece, and we're gonna do that by attaching in the bust pieces to the front bottom. First, separate your pieces so your fabrics are matching. Then, flip the bust pieces down onto the cup area of the bottom front pieces. And using lots of pins or clips as needed, you're going to start to line up the curve of the bust piece and match it to the cup opening. You're going to do this with both your lining fabric and your outer fabric. In my case, this is my brown fabric and my cheetah print fabric. Really try not to stretch at all during this step and really try and pin it evenly. Then once you're ready, we're gonna move over to the serger and we're gonna sew these cups down. If you don't have a serger, you can use a zigzag stitch. And that goes for this whole tutorial. Anytime I'm using a serger, if you don't have one, you can use a zigzag stitch. Now sew these cups down and remember to do this with all four bust pieces. So once that's finished, we now have two continuous front pieces. Now we can assemble this one piece like we do for many others. So first, get your back pieces and match them with right sides together. Sew along the leg holes, neckline, and arm holes, and attach elastic to all of these same seams. You'll also match your front pieces together, and you're gonna sew and attach elastic to the leg holes, arm holes, neckline, and that little belly scoop area. And part of that belly scoop area is the bottom of those cut pieces, and you do not want to attach elastic to those. So you are gonna be sewing them closed, but no elastic goes there. Also be aware that the inner corner of the bust pieces has this little opening that's about a half an inch. Leave that open. We're gonna need to be using it later in order to insert our straps. And the last thing we're gonna be sewing at this step is our straps. So fold them in half lengthwise and sew along the raw edges. You're also gonna be attaching elastic to them. Now, before I go over to my serger, I want to show you one of my favorite tricks to help you have perfect elastic application every time. This is totally optional, so if it gets confusing, feel free to skip it. I first use a straight stitch on my sewing machine and I set it so it's as long as it can go. This is called a basting stitch. And my goal is to tack together all the seams I'm about to sew so that when I sew my actual seam and attach elastic in the next step, it will go on perfectly. Again, this is totally optional. I just think it helps anybody, whether you're a beginner or a pro at sewing elastic. So moving on over to my serger, I'm gonna just knock out all the seams that I mentioned earlier. As you can see, I'm attaching elastic at this step. The elastic foot is another great tool for perfect elastic application and I made a video on it, so I'll have that linked. Also, I'm sewing this elastic with no sort of stretching. I really want it to just sew on even. Once I get to the neckline of the bust pieces, you'll see I'm going to stop before I get to that little half inch section at the inner corner, like I mentioned. 
And then moving on to the belly scoop area, I'm first gonna sew that underbust part without any elastic. Then I'm gonna feed in my elastic and sew the actual belly. Then once I get to the other side with the other underbust area, I'm gonna make sure that I cut my elastic and just sew that without elastic. If this is confusing, if there's a lot of run around going on, I do have some written directions with illustrations to show you exactly what I mean. So we have all of these pieces sewn and our next objective is attaching the front and back pieces together. First, you're gonna flip your front piece to the right side. And before I move on, I'm gonna do this basting stitch trick one more time in a different context. This time I'm gonna sew close the strap openings, the sides and the gusset. And I'll explain what this does in a second. So I sewed those closed off camera. Now we're gonna get our back piece back into the picture and we're gonna start inserting our front piece into our back piece, making sure that right sides are together. So now match up the shoulder straps, the sides and the gussets all together and pin and sew across all four layers of fabric. So this is where it's very handy to have those sewn closed because now when we sew the four layers, Two of those are already under control, which makes it a lot easier. And just as a reminder, in case you don't know, a basting stitch is temporary. It's not meant to hold. In fact, it's meant to be removed or broken because it's definitely not secure. <laughs> so sewing these areas, I'm gonna be using a straight stitch and I'm gonna trim the excess once I'm done. I like to do it this way because it just leaves a really clean look when everything is turned to the right side. If you want, you can also use an overlock stitch to sew these seams. If you choose to do a straight stitch like I am, just mind that there is a quarter inch of seam allowance. So everything is encased inside the back piece and now we need to take it all to the right side. To do this, get your seam ripper and rip a one to two inch hole somewhere along an existing seam. Through this hole, take the entire suit to the right side. You can do this in the next step or just whenever, but be aware that you do need to close up this hole. I like to use a straight stitch and just sew right on top but you can do an invisible stitch by hand. Now everything is to the right side and our next objective is going to be dealing with these straps and sewing some strap channels. So starting with the strap channels, you're gonna be using a straight stitch and you're gonna sew right along here on the bust pieces. And you only need to sew it as far as where it meets that front bottom. This actually serves as more of a faux strap channel. It allows you the adjustability, but it doesn't require you to actually have a fully functional strap channel. Now take the loop turner and turn both of your straps to the right side. Once the straps are ready, one at a time, you're gonna insert the straps into the strap channel and feed it in just as far as you made the channel. It doesn't need to go all the way in. Another option since doing this can be really tricky, I actually struggled quite a bit, is before you sew the strap channel, insert the strap in then, and then you can sew the strap channel just right above where the strap is. I actually think that's a lot easier. One of the pattern testers mentioned this and I was like, why didn't I do it this way? So now using a straight stitch one last time, we are going to tack down this strap so it is solid and it's not gonna be moving out of that channel. So trim your excess threads and here is the final result. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Make sure to check out the PDF pattern for the Isabel one piece and keep an eye out for another pattern coming very soon. So sewing these areas, I'm gonna be using a straight stitch and then I'm gonna... Oh my gosh, will you close the door at least and turn that down? <laughs>